Hi, it's Tina here. I've been a bridge teacher for more years than I care to think about. And during that time, I have seen a lot of the same mistake being repeated over and over again. So I thought it might be interesting to do a short series on the most common mistakes. So let's have a look at the hand on the screen. East West, your opponents have reached the contract of three no trumps. The bidding is not important. Um, whether you're playing standard or echo, it doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to get to three no trumps. So I'm going to pass. And now it's my turn to lead. So your bridge teacher, I'm sure, told you that you should lead your longest suit. So my longest suit is hearts. And even though he spit hearts, I'm going to lead a heart because I've got a nice run. So I'm going to lead the jack of hearts. Okay, and partner produces the ace and then switches to a spade. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I can see the ten, the king and dummy. This hand is useless in defense. And partner's lead of a small spade wasn't very encouraging either. So I'd like to have another think about what I might have done. So I'm going to redeal this hand. Okay. Right, here we are again. So we'll just go through the auction quickly. One heart, pass, two diamonds, pass, two no trumps, three no trumps, pass, pass, pass. Okay. Now let's just have a little think before we lead this time. First off, the fact that the queen on your right has bid hearts is one of the reasons not to lead a heart. But more importantly, what is the point in leading your long suit? If you actually analyze the auction, there's, your opponents are likely to have somewhere between 25, 26, 27 points, something like that, which means that partner has got close to an opening hand because you've only got one. So partner is going to be responsible for most of the defense. So instead of trying to promote a suit of your own, which is the idea of reading a song's long suit, let's try and guess what partner's suit is. Now your opponents haven't bid spades, they've bid diamonds, they haven't bid clubs, and they haven't bid spades. My guess, and it is a bit of a guess, but an educated guess if you like, my guess would be that partner might have some spades. And really, I'm here to help partner, not to try and do something useless for myself. So I'm going to try the lead of the eight. I'm going to lead the top of my doubleton, the eight of spades. And let's see what happens. Well, that's interesting. My eight went round to the ace. Okay, following suit here. Okay. Great. And partner's in lead. A small club, okay. Kind of didn't like my lead, it looks like, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to throw away a club. Okay. I'm keeping my hearts just in case she needs all her hearts. And now we've had a spade lead to partners 10. Well, this is good news. Partner could have been a tiny bit smarter and lead spades earlier, but then, you know, partners do funny things. So it's always partners, but not. Okay. Right. Great. So look at that. Partner had 11 points, close to an opening hand, and my guess was right. Partner had a good spade suit. So by leading a spade, and by leaving the top of my doubleton, I was hoping that partner would work out that I didn't have a spade suit, but was looking for his. So think about that. If you have got a very weak hand, you can't promote a suit of your own because you just can't get back to your hand. Try and think about what partner might have and make a good guess about that. See you next time.